Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, today we'll be talking about this problem mostly in mobile phones. The problem occurs sometimes when you connect your phone and charge, or when you are just using your phone and you see an error message pop up like uh, your battery temperature is too low or it's too high. I will just make it short. The video won't be long, so make sure you listen very carefully. So now, the way your phone knows about the battery temperature is through a small thermistor, a semiconductor that changes its resistance based on the temperature located inside the battery. The circuit inside the battery translates this thermistor, this thermistor resistance into voltage signal and output into a special third terminal outside the battery. So, as you can see, the signal is from the battery, the thermistor, that gives the temperature that allows the phone to identify that this battery is okay for this phone, is from the battery. And for this, I do not, I do not really mean that the thermistor is only in the battery circuit. That is why you can't just adapt any battery on a phone these days and the battery just start working well. So, uh, when you try, that is the reason why when I say uh, the thermistor that gives the errors from the battery, I do not just mean it's only in the battery. Just check out this circuit, check out this little diagram here. Any part in the mobile PCB, most for now, any part, any side in the mobile PCB has a thermistor that function, that, that function in that temperature or high or low thing that gives that error. So that's why when you have uh, the temperature error sometimes you change and replace with a new battery and you still get the same temperature just take, check on this diagram well you will see that the power section has temperature NTC thermistor the CPU has an NTC thermistor which is the main problem in most cases that is the one around the CPU is the main cause of all this problem in this case, in some cases, you can just change the battery circuit, which is this. You can change the battery circuit in most cases, then the problem will be solved only if the battery itself is still okay for the phone. The thermistor around the CPU and make sure the CPU is not overheating. If the CPU is overheating, then it, that's the reason why the thermistor is giving that error and you will need to check why your CPU is overheating. If you see that your CPU is overheating or you can check some capacitors if they are half shorting. So that's what really causes this problem. Either uh, your thermistor is faulty, it might be the thermistor around the CPU, around your memory, around the Wi-Fi card, around the power IC. It can be uh, the thermistor anywhere around your CPU. So in most cases, if you try to work it and it's difficult, you can just take your time then change the thermistors all around that you see. I think your problem will be solved. And if you don't know about checking how shorting in the mobile PCB or if you don't know about, if you haven't understand about the thermistor, then check in the video description. I will post two videos, two videos there. Another one is about resistors, which explains how a thermistor works, which tells everything about thermistors. Then another one is about how to check full shutting and half shutting. From there, you will understand everything after watching this video. That's all I have for you guys today. So make sure you always stay on to my channel, check my new videos, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will get notified when I upload the next video. Thank you.